They're on their feet! For Mickey! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James! A six-time champion. I sometimes question the fact that she's friends with Alexa Bliss. But despite that fact, she's a legend. Cole, it sounds to me like maybe you're a little bit jealous that Mickey gets to spend time with the goddess and you're not even allowed to look in her general direction. Maybe. You too, Michael? Mickey James, uh, also a talented country singer. Mickey James, talented in the ring, talented behind the microphone. Byron, one of these days you'll find something you're good at in life. Maybe not. I'm ready. No, you're not. And her partner from Chicago, Maria Canales. Saxton, if you ever had a female look at you the way Maria looks at her husband, Mike Canales, you would fall over and drop dead. You'd be surprised. I meet a lot of women at the grocery store. Listen, just because you're on a diet doesn't mean you can't look at the menu. And your opponents, first, from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Maurice. Maurice had one of the longest championship reigns of all time. An A-lister in her own right. Why does Maurice always feel it's necessary to inform the world that they're not allowed in her personal space. Because Maurice feels necessary to inform the entire world that they're not as good as she is. There's a humble attitude. It's a sad facts of life, Saxton. She has a very questionable attitude. There's nothing to question, Byron. of the Hart family dungeon carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart family in sports entertainment. Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. You know, the daughter of Jim the Animal Nightheart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer, Brett the Hitman Hart. She's got the power of her father and the finesse of her uncle. Maybe the most respected superstar in the entire women's division. Running clothesline. And here we go. This tag team match is going to be heated, to say the least. And with the women's division as white hot as it is right now, you just know this match is going to be one for the ages. This might be it. Oh, my. Continuing to punish them. Three. Boom, right in the button. Four. Five. Six. Running out of time here. Oh, come on, get in there. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring.
While she had a measure of success in the late 2000s, many were surprised to see Maria Canellis return in 2017. What was even more surprising was that she brought her husband, Mike. Oh, destroy your face. What a stomp. Good grief. Wicked clothesline. She goes for the cover. And Maria Canellis easily getting the shoulder up. Still seems a little early. Michael, you touched on Maria and Mike Kanellis' emergence in 2017. Well, that year also brought them their first child. But they recently returned with a vengeance. Mike was simply sick of being stuck on the sidelines. So, the Kanellis family stormed onto 205 Live with every intention of turning it into 205 Love. It's not a bad idea at all. Drop kick. Beautiful. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. What a stomp. Good grief. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation. She is just so dominant. Oh, man, what a leg drop. They can't walk after that attack to the back. Oh, oh, oh. gosh. Oh, Ronaldo. Harsh impact. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. Oh, so tear the features clean off your face. Boom! <laughs> Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard. The heart looking at it here. Oh man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Double underhook suplex. <laughs> nope, she releases it. Well, that decision may very well come back to haunt her, Cole. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. What a stomp. Good grief. Well, that'll break you in half. What a stomp. Good grief. Tagged in. Natalia is sports entertainment royalty, and this is the first third generation female competitor in WWE history. The Queen of Hearts is also the only female to survive training in the Heart Dungeon. Over Natalia's impressive career, we've seen her be the affable, gracious, and fun-loving queen of hearts. And we've seen her to be the merciless queen of black hearts. Natalia's been on both sides of the fence, so to speak, when it comes to following the rules. But either way, the superstar is known for her no-nonsense attitude and intensity. What incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. What a stomp. Good grief. Inziguri. Oh, my goodness. This hurts. Oh. Oh, and a snap there. 
That'll give you whiplash. She's starting to feel it. Her and her partner aren't going to let this derail them, though. I really like the resolve we've seen from her in this oh, tag team match, guys. Though, I wouldn't be against the tag here. You know, just so she can... Sharpshooter applied! Big opportunity here. Sometimes a little stretch can feel good. That, however, is anything but a little stretch. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. Queen of Hearts looking to finish things off. He's about to do so, Corey, if she can sub-suit her applied. That's it. That's what she needed. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever. They did it! They won the match! Incredible impact! Hard to imagine, but that match was even better than advertised. Here's another look at that history-making encounter. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Too many people that wouldn't have tapped out to that. Well, when you put women like these together, what do you expect to happen? Hope you set your DVRs, folks, because that match is worth going back and watching again.